going to quickly show you how you can slow or speed up your clip. So there's a few different options and ways you can do it. This clip here that I'm going to use, it is 100%. I haven't slowed it down or sped it up. So what I'm going to do with this clip, I'm going to speed up and slow it down for a few different places. You want to look at the clip and think where you want it sped up, where you want it slowed down, and uh, all of that. So you want to do a little bit of planning beforehand. So once you find out what you want to do, so with this one, I'm gonna I want to make it a bit faster at the start, and then I want it to slow down a little bit, and then I want it to go to normal speed, and then maybe a bit faster at the end. Okay. So to do this, you go into this icon here that's like a little timer, and you've got the two selections slow and fast. Slow, what it does is if you click 50, 25, or 10 percent, they're the preset values. Um, 50%, if you select that, what it's going to do is it will slow down your clip 50%. So it's going to make it slower by 50%, or 25%, or 10%. So say you select um, 50%, this clip here was uh, shot in 60 frames per second. So say you click 50%, it's going to play back at 30 frames per second. Okay. And say you select 10%, it's going to be 6 frames per second. What you want to do is, if you go quite slow, you want to select the video quality to optical flow. Okay, But I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, the fast option here, you have 2 times, 4 times, 8 or 20 times. So those are the presets. 2 times, it will speed up your clip by double. Um, 4 times, and so on. Okay, that's quite easy. So here's one way you can speed up, slow down your clips. Um, you can select your clip, and then you can go into the blade tool here, okay? And you can cut your clips into different sections. So if I say, okay, I want it to speed up to about there, I blade it there, so cut it. And then I want it to slow down about for a few seconds. I'm going to blade it again there. That's the slow-mo bit that I want to do. And then I want it to play normal for a bit. And then from about there, I want to speed up. So I'll go back to select. As you can see here, I have now one, two, three, four sections from my clip. So the first one, I want to speed up. So you can either go to this little option here, and it's fast, and you can do a preset value. So let's say four times. Click that and it goes to 400%. So it's sped up four times. Head to the next one. And I wanted this one a bit slower. So you can go to this and you go to slow. I'll say I want to slow it down about 50%. So I'll click that. Okay, so now it's going from 400% to 50%. It's going to come to this one, which is at the moment is 100%. And that is what I want. I want it to stay in normal speed 100% until it comes to this clip and the end clip I want it to speed up again let's say 8 times 800% I'm going to play it it's going to start off at 400% the normal rate then it's going to slow down to 50% and then it's going to go to 100% so normal playback and when it gets to the end here it's going to go at 800% eight times the speed of normal. What I did there was I used all the preset values in this option here. So I use either 50% or I use four times or eight times speed. So if you don't think it's quite right, what you can do is you can actually adjust it. You don't have to stay stick with a preset. So I thought that this was a bit too slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this bit here and I'm going to slide it in and as you can see the percent is going up this one here I thought it wasn't slow enough so I'm going to drag it out a bit okay so now I'm gonna make it about 30 percent that's what I want okay it took a bit too too much time so I'm actually going to speed that up I'm just gonna quickly go into here speed it up two times then the last one here I thought that was a little bit too fast, so I'm going to drag it out a little bit, and I'm going to do it to about, say, 400. Okay, so I'll show you now this. So now it's changed a little bit. 
Okay, so it's a matter of preference and what you're looking for in each clip. The next way that I am going to show you, this is the way that I like to do, okay? So you're not actually cutting your clips into different sections. I'm just going to return this to normal. So I've got the clip back to normal. Another way you can do it is use the blade speed, okay? So again, it is in this little section here, and there it is there, blade speed. Or if you're on a Mac, uh, shift B. So what I do is I don't actually go to this menu. So all I'm going to do is use Shift B wherever I want to create a different speed. You want to look at your clip and you want to see where you want to speed up and slow down. So at the start here I want it sped up all the way to about here. So about here I'm going to click here and then I'm going to go Shift B. And as you can see it hasn't actually split your clip into different sections separate options for my clip. At this stage I have two different options. So I've got this one here and then I've got this one here. But what I wanted was this to be sped up a bit. What you can do is you go to the slider here and I want it sped up. So I'm going to drag it in and you can see and then it turns to fast and it's changing the percent and it's going blue. So yeah, I want it to be about, I don't know, let's just say 200. And then I want it to slow down about here. I'm going to click there. And again, Shift B. That creates another um, speed option in this clip. So now I have three. So I've got this section, this section, and this section. This bit here, I'm going to keep normal. I'm going to keep it at 100%. When I get to about here, I want to shift B and I am creating another section here, speed section here. I want to drag this out a bit and slow it down. It's 90% or if I keep going it's going to, there you go. So let's say, okay 70% that's good. So now I want it to speed up again here, shift B and let's slide this in, let's speed it up a bit, that's good and then I want it to play normal for a bit. Shift B. I'm going to leave this section here. And the end here, I'm going to speed up quite a bit. So as you can see, what I've done quickly is just use Shift B wherever I want to change the speed in the clip. It hasn't actually split the clip up. It's still one clip. What it's done is it's given me options for the speed of the clip. Okay. So if I play this back, you'll see, and there you go, it's fast a little bit, then it's coming into normal, playing 100%, then it's going to slow down to 70%, then speed up, normal again, and then at the end there it's going to speed up. So if you're going quite slow, so I'll just create a slow section here. Let's say you want to create this section at 10%, which that means that it's going to play back at 6 frames per second instead of 60, which was the original. If you put 10%, okay, it's going to drag it out a bit, and this is going to be playing back at 6 frames per second. If you look at the footage, it's kind of jaggedy and it's not actually nice and smooth. Okay. What you want to do is click your, your clip, you come over here to the, the, the time symbol. And you come down to video quality and optical flow. Select that. Okay. What optical flow does is it analyzes your clip. Let's just say in this most simplest terms, it makes it a bit smoother. Okay. What optical flow also does is it requires a bit of rendering, so it takes a little bit longer than normal. This is with optical flow on, and you'll notice that it's nice and smooth when it comes to the slow of 10%. So I'll play it here and it's coming into the slow-mo and there you go. So you can see how it's nice and smooth from normal to 10%. It's quite nice transition. I've taken optical flow off and it is on normal now. So as you can see now I've taken optical flow off and it's coming into 10% and you can see it's not so smooth. It kind of jumps from frame to frame. 
So the difference of having optical flow on, it makes it a nice and smooth and the transitions are nice and good. So if that was helpful, give us a like, comment, subscribe uh, and stay tuned for the next one. Cheers.